It's Polly. Well, today we're in Genesis 3, where Adam and Eve chose to disobey God and eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Ah! When they did that, they sinned. Now, sin is anything you say, think, or do that breaks God's law or makes them sad. Because they sinned, they had a problem. And today, we have a problem. So, I was pondering, has anyone ever thought they could stop sinning without Jesus? Try to do it on their own? Huh? Let's find out. Yeah! yeah. Ah, before I knew Jesus would forgive my sins, I just thought I could be a good person and do it on my own. Well, truthfully, I thought I could hire Darth Vader to destroy anything that might cause me to sin. Yeah, that's right. Not a good idea. No. You have failed me for the last time. I thought, because I'm a bear, in case you didn't know, that I could just, uh, you know, scare away my temptations to sin. Yeah, by growling. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work, though. I just ended up scaring away ketchup. And now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Well, Papa and Barry thought they could handle their sin on their own, just be a good person, you know. But uh, we see that sin is our problem. Mm -hmm. If you want to fix the problem, you got to go to the sin fixer. And that's Jesus. He is the solution to our sin. Mm-hmm. First John 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yeah, Jesus is our sin fixer and he fixes our sins. Oh, yes, he does. And I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. I sure am glad that Jesus solves our problems with sin. He loves us so much. Herbs, excuse me, Jesus loves you. Ah! <laughs>